Precious Lord. Hey, take my hand. Hey, and I gotta change it up on you. Can't nobody. Woo. Do me mm -hmm. like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ain't got time. Hey, Look, somebody told me the comment section. I bet not start now. Nah, church <laughs> service without singing at least something. So I gave it to, I gave you all um, my two and one. See the other couple. We should let the deacon sing. See. Yeah. And and you know every time they're supposed to sing, they conveniently forget they're supposed to sing. Yeah, they ain't come forward. So uh, but yeah, charge to them. Yeah, but before we get started for real, for real, we want to pray um and give our um shout outs to the islands. The islands are getting hammered right now. And it's yeah. the craziest thing because me and my cousin were talking on Facebook today. And we were actually talking about going to Jamaica at this exact time. Me and Shantae. So, if it would have worked out the way we needed it to, we would be in Jamaica right now. It's crazy. But, yeah, pray for the islands. Pray for, pray for our Floridians because yeah. they get ready to get it. Look, listen. The Georgia Peach is about to get it. The North Carolina and South Carolina, all I'm about to get it. I just don't know. And us here in Virginia, we got an email before we left work talking mm -hmm. about some. Y'all need to work as much as y'all can. And y'all might have to go stay in a hotel just in case it gets real. What? Yeah. And we don't shut down for nobody. Nope. So I don't know. So, so yeah, I know they're telling um, people on the east coast of Florida and parts of Florida. I might get it all wrong, but you know who you are. You You're know. in the news. Man, if you can get out, go. Get out. Your example of what's happening in Houston. You don't want to deal with that, I'm telling you. Yeah. You don't want to deal with that. My cousin was stuck in San yeah. Antonio. Mm -hmm. And he actually got stuck in Houston trying to escape San Antonio. Yeah. And he got stuck in Houston and he's just getting out of there yesterday. So yep. that's how crazy it is. <laughs> crazy. But anyway, um, green leaf, silence and loneliness. <laughs> My Lord. See, this is when you really need the Lord because... A lot didn't happen, but a lot happened. Oh, yeah. So, it started off. A lot came out of a little. See, Cla and somebody said, <coughs> you keep calling her Clarissa. It's on purpose because I'm being shady. Her name is Clarissa. We know. Uh -huh. I call her Clarissa because I just don't like her. Because <laughs> you need to put that L in there because I just don't like her. So, Bishop Clarissa and um, First Lady May, they sitting down and they don't got the documents and everything to prove <laughs> that basic skanks. Been really? taking the church's money yeah. and gambling it and using it up. So Bishop was like, you know what? This secret weapon I got in my hand right here, huh? I'm going to be able to take this church from underneath for basic skanks. And I'll, I'll do my best, Clarissa. You know, I know you 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 looked out for me. You got me this information. But ain't no guarantee he going to put your husband in position to be pastor. But I will try my best. I said, hold on, Bishop. Wait a minute. Yeah. If you got that bullet like that. Why ain't did you? Why is it that you not calling the shots on it? But I got yeah, because what you're that's because she uh, Clarissa want to borrow the information because she's sick of that church that ain't got no walls. <laughs> that's the church she needs. She needs yeah. to be humble. She yeah, she said Jacob, you can have the church over there in the bricks if you want, but we are gonna get this trial church right here, the church that got walls and hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. So Bishop said, hey, I'm about mm -hmm. to go pay um, Basil Skanks. A visit. I'm basically gonna break. I'm gonna um, threaten him and shake him down and tell him, "Listen, I seen the books. I know what your alias name is. I know the people that know the people that know the people, and I know that you still owe somebody some money right now. Uh -huh. So if you don't give my son this church, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you into the police." Basis case was like, <laughs> "Good one, Bishop. You don't scare me. Get out of my office." I said. Oh, this didn't work the way you wanted it to work, huh? But you can see the the, the look of fear on Skank's face, though. Yeah. So then <laughs> Bishop goes over there to Clarissa's house, right? And he's basically telling her, "Hey, I went over there, and homeboy didn't budge. Yeah. Listen, it didn't work out the way we thought it would work out. Look, he might be a little short, mother sucker, like um, uh, what's the name, um, <laughs> uh, Nate Rob would say, but he ain't scared. So." I don't know what it is that is going to make him come up off of this church. I got to really probably turn him into the police. It, I said, oh. And hey, can she go tell me some word? That wasn't a part of the plan. I thought Jacob was supposed to get to church. That's all she worried about. And That's this all is, she care about. And this is what gets on my nerves about <laughs> Clarissa. Is I wouldn't mind as much. But it's because she's doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, her she wants wrong. that power uh -huh. and that control, and she wants that seat of authority. 
baby and it ain't know, that god doing glamorous and don't know the responsibility that comes with that position too huh and we're gonna leave it at that especially you dealing with a bunch of black folk <laughs> huh huh <laughs> we're going we're not gonna talk about nah, it no we ain't gonna talk about we're gonna it. talk about it but if you go to church you know what we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> so then over there at triumph we see <clears throat> basil skanks he on the telephone and old boo boo from last week that came over there, like Bishop said, it looked like he should be at the pool hall. Boo Boo come up in the church. Rockwaller. Come straight at Basil Skanks. And Basil said, hey, 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 just the guy I've been looking for. I was about ready to call you. <laughs> and they say, we know we cut scene. And when we came back, Basil Skanks able whoop. whooped. How was sticking up right here? Uh -huh. I said, bleeding right here, nose bleeding, low, freaking lip all busted up. I was a little disappointed because I really wanted either Jacob or the bishop to Me do too. it. That's what I'm like. Why? <laughs> really? So then his wife comes over there and she was like, baby, you just need to stop this here. You, I took it, told you. You wouldn't listen. So Nick said, well, no. I said, well, how the hell <laughs> she get over to Clarissa house so got doing fast? Well, she ended up over at Clarissa house to tell Clarissa about and I didn't understand, but it goes back to what I said when we first met um, First Lady Keish Cole, that Keish Cole Skanks, that she ain't got no friends. She ain't got no friends. She's that different First Lady, and we all know that First Lady. She's different. She's She's got a little swag to her. She's she got, got a little hood. bougie First Lady. Yeah, she got that little hood to her, so she don't fit <clears throat> in the inner circle with the rest of them bougie ones that's like this. She's more like, she's relatable. Mm -hmm. She can have a good old conversation with you about love and basketball and still preach the word of God to you just like she should. Huh? And watch love and hip hop? Hey. Huh? And come out there and wreck the house and deliver you from drugs, alcohol, and pray over your daughter that's been acting a fool. Huh? Them the ones that you want in your life. So she goes over there to Carissa's. And while she over there, Carissa's talking about something. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they beat my husband up. They messed up his beautiful face. <laughs> Hey, for real? Is this how we describe it? Our husbands now? It's beautiful. It's beautiful face? What? Man and beautiful don't fit in the same <laughs> sentence to me. That don't work. <laughs> so Bishop was like, because Bishop just happened to be over there too. Bishop said, hold on. Bishop was like, huh? He said, what? You, but you got to realize this all happened between him leaving the yeah. church and coming over to Clarissa that I, I would say... In my mind, 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. <laughs> that he got his tail whooped. And first of all, who hide his own girls, let Rockwaller walk up in the church. Stan, we've been watching Bishop, this show for two this, seasons. Bishop ain't got no armor bearers and skates. No, ain't, no, them big got door church. Joe Holstein, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so these Rockwallers just can walk up in the church and do whatever the buck they want to do. Yeah. When they want to do, how they want to do it. Yeah. That's why they got so much booze kick going on. If you ain't learned nothing, you better learn to get you some good armor birds and you get some knuckles that just got out of prison. Hey, we, we went to a church that like that too. Hell yeah, I was scared. All the armor birds look like they just got out of jail yesterday. And they was armed. Yeah, they look like they got out of jail yesterday. So you can knock if you buck. They you might get shot look, they right up in the church. They didn't speak. Nope, they didn't do skit. And they might get you the head and all like that. And then when the offering came, you got locked in that goddamn church. Huh? I said, what the hell? They was like, oh yeah, around here, like the places that um the um criminals, they timed the offering. Now see, this ain't funny right here. What? But it's funny. <laughs> see, one of them came to the church and he was on Stop the praise. The and Stop. <laughs> and the song that they were singing got real good to him. And he said, well, skit, I'm about to go on and put my piece in there. But you gotta he, you gotta paint the picture though, Stanley. Huh? Yeah, paint the he, picture. He had on his suit. <laughs> had on his glasses. No, no, no. Sunshades. Sunshades, yeah. Ray Bands. And he got up to that microphone and it didn't match the song he was singing, but he wanted to be cool, but he said, Woo. <laughs> This is the mic where our camera is, and me and her is right here. And he did that. We was like, <laughs> and everybody in the church looking at us, and the kids looking at me like, 
don't, I'm like, don't y'all look at me. He said, oh, And then the bad thing about it, he did it twice. Yes. Yeah. Because it got real good to it. And he grabbed the mic and brought it close into it. Ah. Oh, woo. <laughs> I said, you know, I can't. If he said, <laughs> oh, woo, 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 I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the church. He cool, though. Yeah, I he like cool, him, though. Yeah, he cool. Once we got to know him, though. But he's he fresh out. Yeah, he fresh out. Mm -hmm. He told me he said he said I still drink my alcohol. I said at least you honest with uh -huh. rat say. Look, when you tell me who you are, I can deal. Matter of fact, I need you in my corner for these knuckles up in here. Hello, hello. Huh? <laughs> so what the hell was we talking about? <laughs> Doing in the <a> rabbit. <laughs> so, so Bishop said, you know what? Um, first lady, um, Kishko Skanks, come on, let's go with me. So Bishop ends up going back. Over to triumph <laughs> and basis case is still on that goddamn couch. Toe up, toe up. He can't even he can't talk without holding his rib cage. <laughs> he he wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he breathed it, his hair would go out a little bit like this. I said, you know what, basin? He told basin, he said, listen, we can do this the easy way or the hard way, but either way, you can go to jail. Yeah, either way. He said, how much are you? in for with this dude. Basically, he said, they ain't none of your got no business. He said, listen, this how we gonna do it because you ain't got much of a got no choice. Yeah. Um, on Sunday, I want you to resign, give up triumph, and I'm assuming that Bishop's gonna handle his debt. That's that's what I'm assuming. That's I, what, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, and he said, <clears throat> you gonna hold, hand over the reins to my son, Jacob. It's just the way it's gonna have to be. Base case was like, mm -mm, nah, not to, mm -mm, not in here today. No, sir. Said, nope, nope. I might have got my A whoop, but Mac and Kat Von D uh -uh. can fix this up and uh -huh. I will be good for Sunday and morning. I'm going to be preaching on Sunday morning. His wife looked at him and she said, listen, baby, look at your face. <laughs> look at your face. Look at just what face. happened. Rock Roller came up here and gave you a fresh A whooping in the church. So he ain't got no respect. <laughs> You you need to resign. Do this for me. Do this for us. Just do it. Like Nike said, just do it. And the only reason why he did it because she was crying in his lap when uh when he got a tail whoop. And she said, why you ain't listening to me? He said, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I bet you hear her now. I bet you hear it now. That's the only reason why he humbled himself. So he went ahead and said that he was going to do the deal with Bishop. Bishop goes back and he reports the news to Lady May. And Lady May said, listen, do we have any of this in writing? No. He said, what a shady deal like this, this wouldn't notary. Gonna, gonna sign off on this. Wouldn't notary Republic put her license yeah. on the line for this bullshit. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't legitimate. This is, this is stealing the church. <laughs> Bishop was like, this is not how any of this works. Yeah, it don't work that way. <laughs> So then we see Zora the weed explorer and Isaiah the church player. They in the car together, right? I just gave him that name. Uh, Isaiah the church player. I like that. I'm good as hell. I need to take yeah. this show on the Man, road. you should put that on a t-shirt right there, buddy. I ain't got enough titties for that. Isaiah the church, church player. player. I do. Yeah. You know. I'm just put it, yeah, just put it in small writing right there. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Hey, like, you don't want to say it won't fit on your shirt, so I'm offering this solution. Huh. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, yeah. Don't worry about it. We're yeah. talking about church right now. So he gonna tell Zora the weed explorer, "Hey, look in the glove box because I got a little surprise for you." He ended up giving her. I don't know if it was tickets or invitations or something. It was tickets. But the tickets were on the same date that her cotillion was. And she ain't about ready to get that up. Look at all the bullshit she went through to get get into that school. Your grandma had yeah. to do the deal with the devil. Yeah, because she didn't send the email to the right address. Dot org. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zora the Weed Explorer said, you know this is the same date. And he said, well, you just going to have to miss it. I and this is one thing that, that I, I've always liked about Zora, and I hate about her at the same time. She's smart mouth. But she was smart mouth at the same at the at the right time. At the this right time. time. You know, not towards her parents. And she said, No, I'm not doing that. Matter of fact, I've been asking you to go get fitted for a suit this whole goddamn time. Mm -hmm. And now you spring this on me as if we weren't um, just talking about this. Yeah. When she gave him the final no, I'm not going. This little ninja. Oh, slammed on brakes and she done bust her forehead on the goddamn um dashboard. This right here. 
This right here. Now, me and Zora, the weed explorer, is about the same complexion. Don't let these lights fool you. They make me look brighter than what I really am. I'm brown. Me and Zora, the weed explorer, is the same color. For her to get a bruise that got to her face. <laughs> he hit it off hard, boy. God, do it. For real. Whole lot of impact on that forehead, buddy. Zora, if you don't run like hell. Yeah, he already showing you that he abusive. He ain't even took and put no hands on you yet. But that's yet. coming next. Yet. That's coming next. Zora gets home. Because she told him, said, hey, you take me home. He said, I'm not taking you home. Hold on, wait a minute. So now you kidnapping kids? Okay. But when she got bucked, he was like, okay. Took her on home. She walked right clean past her mom and her daddy. And I said, where the hell is your parental antennas? Yeah, yeah. That you didn't realize that something was wrong. Because she don't usually come in the house like that. She usually had to say something smart before she go back into that room. She goes in the bathroom, locks herself in the bathroom, and she powdering that guy doing bruise on yep. her forehead. And it'll take her little faux locks and it'll brought it on over like this. Never reminds me of something. Uh-oh. It reminds me of the time. I ain't never had nobody put their hands on me. Thank the Lord. The Lord knows that I'm not equipped for no bull skit like that. I will snap off and I kill me. So he didn't design you in that with that with that type of he didn't design uh, tolerance. No, mm -mm, he didn't design nobody like that. Nah. But he definitely know <clears throat> that this Haitian blood can't take nobody doing no bull skit like that. So what had happened was I went out and got my eyebrow pierced when I was still living at home with my mom's. Like I don't had every piercing on the man. And uh I took, took that bang and swooped that bang over like this, over my eye, looking like left eye. And one day we was in the kitchen, and I had forgot I had that guy doing piercing in my oh, eye. Hey. And I said, and my mama said, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> she said, I would snatch that model out your god face right now. Who the F did that? I was like, my cousin. Like, seriously, I let my cousin pierce my eyebrow. Yeah, you know, you did super skip back there. You he didn't, didn't think care. About it. And to this day, that's a partial reason why I have to fill my eyebrows in because I got scar tissue for that bull skit. <laughs> so she goes to the so bathroom. trying to be cute. I was. Buck that. Ain't no trying. And she done powdered no, herself no up and she done passed. Ain't nobody this whole nobody episode know. even realized that this child had got beat by the dashboard. Isaiah. The church player better be lucky she ain't tell her daddy. Because it would have been OV. I think it's still going to come up, to be honest with it's you. It's going to be OV. So then we got Charity and Jabarbi. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on her because her role really depresses me. And I think that she's so so much... So, I cannot talk. Hmm? She's so much more of an actress than they are showing her to be. So I'm sorry that they are doing this to her character, but... It just, her voice is calming for once. Mm -hmm. she, she has the voice like her aunt, Cece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very calming, so it puts me to sleep a little bit. She and her feelings, because the person that hired y'all to do a hook on the song, the bridge on the song, ain't satisfied with it. But she taking it personal, mm -hmm. because she's so on her feelings about Jabari not wanting to take, take her up in the room at the hotel, huh? that she can't even think straight. And then when the girl came mm -hmm. in there, Jabari greets her just like he greets her mm -hmm. and she and her feelings talking about some so wait a minute What is this that we doing? Do you like me? Yeah, I like uh, you, but you no, no you, reason Do you really 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 like me? He said, but you got a kid. She was like, oh, so you don't do women with kids He said no the opposite. I just want to take things slow. I said Jabari be Anyway <laughs> He went ahead and gave her that shut up. I still need you to work. I turn a kind of kiss and he settled her down and he reassured her that this is what he wants. He just won't take it slow. I don't really give a rat's say because I'm not sold on it. <laughs> so, you think he just did that just to keep her there a little while? I long? do. I do. He a player hater too? Or a player lover? Mm -hmm. I don't care. They don't even so, matter. First Lady and Gigi, they had this outreach going on. When they go to the old folks home, and you know every church has outreach at the old folks home. You got the prison, mm -hmm. you got the old folks home, yep. and you got the homeless shelter. Them is the, that's the trinity. Yeah. That's how you get your name out in the community. And you're feeling real good, you go out in front of Walmart and hand out track. <laughs> <laughs> if they let you, because Walmart don't even let you do that skit no more. <laughs> so, 
Gigi wasn't in the best of moods because you know her and Rick Fox, Darius, um, they had a little falling out about both of them being closed and not really divulging a lot of information about their past or whatever. Mm -hmm. So she had her feelings, but she showed up anyway. First lady said, hey, oh, you had a bad night. Mm, this is real important. So basically, get your skit together. Or, or don't go at all. She yeah. said, you know what, Ma, I'm good. Let's rock. You know, let's rock. So they go on over there to the old folks' home. And goddaughter, Randall will put sugar and lights in the old folks' home. Yeah, nice one, too. I said. She over there getting banana pudding. Good treatment. Except for that other chick that was there. Yeah, my boy on Twitter told me, said, Shiver and Lights, though, made her way on over uh -huh. there to Greenland. Get all that and you know what? She acted the same way on this show that she act on as Loving You is Round. You know, I bet you she makes a mean peach cobbler. I bet she can, too. I bet she can fry some chicken, too. And when she walk across the floor, she drag her feet. Mm-hmm. God darn. I bet she can make a mean apple pie, too. <laughs> With the soft apples, not that yeah. hard bull skit. Some collard keep... greens, too. Hey! Yeah. Shimmery Lights told Gigi, said, you know what? I like this red fingernail polish on me. Back in the day, they used to tell us that only mm -hmm, used to wear this fine edge and red uh, fingernail polish. Gigi she said, said well, you was fast? And what she say? I won't slow. <laughs> I said, mm. you better talk up sugar red lights. So huh? sugar red lights say, you see that lady over there, my caretaker? She is real good to me. But the one that I had before this, oh, she was something. She was rude. She was mean. She was abusive. And we know that that's true, too. Yeah. Stanley's mama works in that field mm -hmm. of work. And she said the stuff that happens you is would, ridiculous. You would think, my mama said, you would think that some people don't have a mama and daddy. Yeah. And it's crazy. treating other people's mom and daddy. And the bad thing about it, sometimes management don't give up because oh, they're making money. About the cash. And I said, God, this is crazy. So, um, yeah, so she, um, she told Gigi, you know, I'm, you know, I, I had to turn her into management. And they got rid of her, so now I got this new girl, and I'm really happy with her. And Gigi was like, you know what? You did the right thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to tell what happened. And she said, you know what? You're right. Now I saw Gigi wheels start turning and mm -hmm. I said, oh, Gigi, what's happening? Yeah, what's going on in that brain of yours now? Because before this, she was walking through the woods and all this, which I'm like, y'all need to stop walking through the woods by yourself. Yeah, I'm like, hey, but, have you seen Friday the 13th? <laughs> well, she's having these flashbacks, these visions. And one at one point, this little girl comes running past her and she could hear Uncle Matt's voice. And that part, she was in a dream. But then when she went walking, she started hearing and seeing this stuff mm -hmm. again. And I said, what the fuck happened? So Gigi calls over Rick Fox Darius and said, hey, you want to talk? Because I need somebody to talk yeah, to. Yeah, I got some information for your ears. I said, okay. Huh? And she went ahead and she said what I had thought from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But I said, no. You need some confirmation. Yeah, the Lord. By the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let everywhere be established. established. And tonight it was established. established. Gigi told Rick Fox that I don't want you to say nothing. I just need you to listen. Basically, Gigi said, listen. Uncle Mac lured me down into the woods because there was a place where the soldiers used to hide out in in the Civil War. He made it sound so interesting that I just needed to go see it with him. But when he got me down there, he tried some stuff with me, but I got away. I fought him off. Should have said the devil thought he had me. Ah, but you're up. <laughs> what is it? But you're up. Ah, but you're up. What is that but you're up? I don't know. <laughs> so she fought him off. And she's basically blaming herself for her sister's death because she said, up until this moment, no one knew. You are the only person besides me and Uncle Matt that know that this went on. And I was like, oh my God. So she was like, if I had told somebody, maybe Faith would still be here. And Darius told her this. And I said, you know what? I'm with him on this one. I still don't trust him. Hmm. But he said, listen, if they didn't believe Faith when she told them, what believe. makes you think that they would have believed you when mm. you told it? And she, her whole thing was, well, if I had said it and then if he had tried it with faith, then there's basically two people that would have been saying the same thing. But basically, Darius was telling her, listen, you can't live in the past. But she was like, right now, this stuff is haunting me like never before. And I don't know what to do. I was like, honey, I will send you to um, Father Callahan over there on Power, but... 
Drake killed him. Drake really killed him. You need to go to a counselor and all the preachers in your area yeah, is you fucked up. So you can't go to your daddy, you can't go to Skanks, you can't go to <laughs> Jacob. Well, God don't. I don't even know who you can go to. I would say Pastor Lano, but Pastor Lano got some bullshit well, going on yeah, too. Yeah, he wasn't the first lady, so. I uh, said, that that's some mess going on right here. I told Lynette, I said, I think it probably was a good thing now, in hindsight, that she didn't tell it. Because if she probably told it, she wouldn't have been able to work the case like she did because they probably would have got somebody else to do it since she was a part of the abuse or a part of the rape. So I think her keeping it secret was the fuel or the fire behind her to get him persecuted, which she still didn't get persecuted. Yeah, he got know. killed. He got killed, but... It got her off because they yeah. would have said that it was um, basically a revenge crime. Yeah. So... But I she but it. she was messed up because she was like I told everybody else to come forward to say something and I didn't. So that's that's how it goes though. It's yeah. almost like you can tell somebody else everything that they need to do, but can you really do it yourself? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you'll have people that'll preach to you this, that, and the third, but can they really do it? Yeah. And then it's one of those things too. Like I always tell people, I believe in you probably way more than I believe in myself. So it's kind of like that thing too. Yeah, but, I, but I'm but i glad that they are speaking to like women that's been re raped in secret, that's still holding on to it. It don't go away. Yeah, it, it, don't, it yeah. follow you yeah, it don't your go whole away. life. But I say if you have an opportunity to tell somebody, to get it off, not necessarily you gotta go tell on the person, that's up to yeah, you. Sometimes that doesn't matter. But you still might wanna talk to somebody about it versus harboring, harboring yourself because Mm -hmm. You can commit suicide, do something to harm yourself, mess up good relationships because mm -hmm. that person might accidentally touch you the way that the rapist did. Yeah. And you thinking that they trying to rape you. So if if it's still bothering you, get some help. For real, for real. That's straight up. No joke. Get yeah, that's that straight up. And like we were saying, it, <clears throat> it don't go away. Yeah, it don't it's go away. It's one of those things that it's almost like a death. You just learn to readjust yeah cope with it or whatever because i was telling uh, my husband I, well, when we first met and when i first got into church and you know church people like to hug and stuff and i was like why are these people touching me i was one of those people that you can't touch me you can't roll up on me real quick and do nothing because my reflexes is i'm gonna beat your motherfucking name so I had to readjust myself because of what I had been through that everybody isn't out to hurt me. But at yeah. the same time, I am aware, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I can't treat everybody like they are the one that did it to me. So mm -hmm. I had to readjust and do that myself. So I ain't talking to you from a blind spot. Yeah. And been it, there. <laughs> and ain't only for, for women either, men oh, too. No. Men have been violated too. So yeah, you need to speak up too, man. Yeah. yeah, and it's not anything to be embarrassed about. Nah, it wasn't your fault. Somebody else violated you, but now got your life all messed up, so now it's time for you to get yourself together before you ruin your life. Yeah, and ruin good relationships. Yeah. Because that's a part of it, too. But in a home, hope, hope, you, hope you got something out of that. Yeah. So, now it's Sunday morning. <clears throat> oh, um, it went a whole different way than I thought it was gonna go. Me too. So we over at the church over there at the plant. Well, no, we had the plantation first. <laughs> so Bishop uh, Greenleaf, Bishop Lester Wallace, he all ready to get mm, put his suit coat on, uh -huh. and then we see Sophia, and I said, look at the parallel, the pastor, the little pastor right there. <laughs> So she getting oh, ready. Pass the X. Pass the X. She get ready to teach the little saints. Every time they say little saints, I think about uh, what's that movie? Oh, the little boy named Little Saint. Yeah, Little on, Saint. On uh, God. you got served. You got served. Yeah. So she said, I'm gonna teach the little saints this morning. What you preaching on, Granddaddy? Oh, I ain't gonna be preaching today. I got a guest pastor. Yeah, I, I flew did, in. I need to go see Jacob get installed. She was like, huh? Said, I wish your um, your um, your mama and them could be there, but me and First Lady, we going on over there to Triumph because we got something we need to witness. They go on over there to Triumph, and we <laughs> see Skanks on that pulpit. Skanks still beat up, y'all. I said. Yeah, they couldn't cover that up right there. I they said, couldn't cover a little streak up right there. I said, look at it. Ain't nobody see that he had that bruise right there on that big uh, <laughs> teleprompter. Because you know the teleprompters, they zoom in. I'm just trying to figure out when he went to the deacons and the trustees to explain that he was going to be resigning. How did he explain being beat up in the church? How did that conversation go over? I, I, 
I don't know. <laughs> I, if I was a trustee or a deacon in that meeting, I'm gonna ask him, do we all need to leave? Yeah. If Rockwall is coming back, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> Isaiah the church player. He up there doing leading praise and worship as if he just want abusive to Zor the weed explore. Uh-huh. That's how I just grooving. Jack, I do like they got um that they don't do that traditional music and stuff yeah. in the church because I can't do traditional. Even though I start off with that here, that's because y'all like that mood skit. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You know, contemporary. I like, I like contemporary trap music and, and gospel go-go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> We got a gospel go-go band at my church. But, uh... But anyway, but, uh, and I'm the lead singer. But, uh... uh got doing skanks. I thought he would need somebody to do CPR on him. <laughs> Stop it. Yes, yeah, skanks. <laughs> that joker was... Skanks got up there did his... You know, because he's real good with words. Oh, yeah, he really He good. said, I, I got something I got to tell you, Triumph. I have sinned. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not perfect man. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, just like in the Bible, when a man has sinned, they must confess it <laughs> and be all right with the Father. <laughs> and he said, what I need to do is I need to right my <clears throat> wrong. And I stand before you a sinful man. And I'm going to have to sit down and leave triumph. <gasps> but the Lord ain't going to leave you without a ram in the bush. <laughs> I know. I know. He a good man. <laughs> Sincere. A man after God's own heart. <gasps> you be a good man. <laughs> He's my brother. My friend. I said when? Yeah, when? Now, mind you, Jacob don't want any of this. Nope. He was convinced by his wife to take this on. And you know the part that pissed me off to let me know that this wench's mind and her heart ain't in the right place for this ministry is when he she came to that dinner table and told him that, listen, go ahead and take the church. And he said, can you pray with me? And she gonna talk about some for what? What? What, what kind of first lady needs an explanation or a reason to pray? Yeah, first of all, you see what he, you trying to get him to take on? Do you, when you start getting them calls in the middle of the night. Yeah, you gonna regret it. You gonna be like, Bitch, Jacob. So if you ain't got the anointment for that. You better live long. You gonna be disappointment. Hmm. <laughs> Shit, that did. You gonna be missing halves out your head. Huh? So, they went ahead and they said, changing of the guard, you will. And I actually thought that um, Skanks was going to pull a fast one. I and did. he wasn't going to do it. Oh, he pulled the fast one now. Just wanted the fast one up there. So you got Bishop, First Lady, and Zora the Weed Explorer sitting on the front row looking like the Godfather. Like. <laughs> yeah, Bishop tried his best to hold back his laugh. He... And he did. He, he turned the church on over to yep. Jacob. And <laughs> First Lady Keisha Cole Skate was sitting over there like, praise the Lord. And I'm saying to myself, which She looked like, I'm glad it's over. That's what she looked like. I'm glad this is over. And I'm saying to myself, I got my life back. What y'all gonna do for money? Uh-huh. <laughs> what y'all gonna do for money? Huh? Hey. So you gotta go down and get a job at Macy's. Hey. Huh. Mac on the ain't side. Nothing, ain't nothing wrong with working at Macy's. Now it's up. They pay all money is green Man, when it's spent. Man, you make some green money and get some discount. Hey. So, next thing we know, it was time for them to depart. Bishop Greenleaf goes in um, Bishop Pastor Skanks' study. Pastor Skanks is gone. Oh, oh I said, he, he moved fast. He ran fast up out that church because he don't want to go to church. Hey, first lady Keisha Cole Skanks is sitting there by herself. Bishop said, did he run off? She was like, yes. He oh. gone. Said, why didn't you go just, with him? She was like, I wouldn't go. And I'm sitting here like, she was like, he he's a person that do not want to be confined. So he's running and he's running. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. I didn't really know that he was going to go to jail. I thought that was a scare tactic. I didn't think Maybe that. it was that he just, his conscience got, he's scared. His conscience got the best of him. Maybe them dick is turned But you know, she ain't go over like, hey, you can go to jail by yourself. Hey. So you don't want that stole that money from the church. But you benefited. 
You see, accomplice. See, you don't mess with folk, the folk, the three F's of black folk. Food, family, and funds. <laughs> or they gonna give you the, the freaking fourth F, a funeral. You know what? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw earlier in the episode that Pastor Lionel Richie, that's what I'm gonna call it, Pastor Lionel, y'all remember him, mm -hmm. the one that came over to the house and we said, ah, oh, him and First Lady don't have a thing, thing going on. Uh -huh. Well, he been trying to get in um, church with First Lady and since the beginning of this episode. Sure is. She ain't been returning his phone call. Now, before they could leave on out of Bishop Skank's office, Bishop looked at the phone and said, Lionel calling me? And she was like, she over there like this. Precious Lord, take my hand <laughs> and leave. Lee. <laughs> and he said, I got something to talk to you about. And this calls for an in-person meeting. He said, for real? He said, well, I'll see you when you get here. And this week, it looked like some He's going to break off. I think the first lady had a mild heart attack when he said he's going to talk to him in person. And we saw Ern. Yep, saw Ern. Yep. It's gonna get real next week. Hey, so straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.